Assalamu alaikum, everyone. Peace be unto you. My name is Rebecca Husseini, and I'm MPAC's Vice President of Operations and Administration. I'd like to welcome you all today for this important symposium. It's a privilege to gather with such a dedicated group of activists, advocates, and community leaders, all of whom share a common commitment to countering anti-Muslim discrimination and hate. The need for this symposium is urgent. According to the 2021 hate crime report from the Los Angeles County Commission on Human Relations, hate crimes in Los Angeles County increased by 23% from the previous year, with a staggering increase of 105% since 2013. In the two months following October 7, 2023, between October 7th and November 30th to be exact, the Council on Foreign Relations Los Angeles received 186 requests for help and reports of bias which was a 238% increase over the same period the previous year. Anti-Muslim bigotry, which has plagued American Muslims for decades, has once again resurfaced with alarming intensity. These numbers reflect a troubling and consistent upward trend, which has only escalated in the years since October 7th. These actions threaten the civil liberties of American Muslims and undermine the very principles of justice that our nation was founded upon. These statistics tell the story of families living in fear, students being targeted on university campuses, and voices being silenced as they advocate for justice. This isn't just a local or isolated problem. It's a part of a broader national and global challenge. During this event, we will discuss the root causes and repercussions of this rise in anti-Muslim hate that is fueled by discriminatory, discriminatory policies and targeted towards our community. We will also explore guidance that can help shape effective policies, policies that safeguard our communities from acts of hate and discrimination while also serving our national security interests. We believe that national security and civil rights are not mutually exclu exclusive, and today's dialogue will focus on how we can strike that balance. We would like to acknowledge LA County, whose funding makes this dialogue possible, and remind everyone that free services and resources against hate and discrimination are available through laversushate.org and the hate reporting line at 211. We encourage anyone who has been a victim of hate to report incidents via these platforms in Los Angeles, as these reports help identify patterns of behavior to help policymakers better understand how to address the increase in hate fueled violence. Some housekeeping items. Lunch will be served directly following this first panel around noon, maybe a little after since we started a little late. It'll be upstairs on the second floor terrace. You can take the elevator upstairs. Uh, there is no food allowed in the auditorium. Uh, prayer will be held before our second panel begins, right outside the auditorium in the amphitheater. Uh, the Fowler Museum has also graciously offered to provide short tours of the museum to event attendees. If you are interested in joining the tour, please grab a quick bite to eat and head to the museum's main lobby on level one at 1230 p.m. During today's symposium, you'll hear from activists, community leaders, and subject matter experts who will help us better understand these challenges and identify solutions as we navigate these difficult times. I'm especially grateful to Josh Paul and Samar Ali for traveling to Los Angeles to speak to our audience and providing their invaluable experience and insights on how to protect our civil liberties and counter hate-fueled discrimination and violence against our community. While the title of this symposium implies that this conversation is about elections, it is really about elevating our voices. Our aim is to empower communities with education and tools. It's also important to note that MPAC has a 501c3 organization, and as such, we do not endorse candidates. Now for our panel. Our first panel will examine the art of building power, powerful narratives to counter misinformation and hate crimes by shaping public perception and driving social change. This session will explore strategies for developing social narratives that drive lasting impact and foster inclusivity. Our panelists will share valuable insights and practical steps for meaningful engagement in today's landscape, tools we need now more than ever to create change.